All right, guys, working on a 2022 Chevy 1500 Z71. Got some leaky transmission cooler lines. It uh, burst loose right there at the transmission. Uh, truck's only got 8,000 miles on it. This is just a disaster. Um, the line set itself, not that expensive. You can get it at the dealer for like 100 bucks. Uh, the guy at the dealer told me that uh, it's a very common common problem they had it in pretty much the next day comes with everything but it is not a fun job whatsoever let's see you're gonna have to remove all the shrouds the cooling fan drain the radiator to remove the cooling fan the, the cooling fan itself was about an hour project you got to get down in here and remove the tranny cooler it used to be down in front of the AC condenser here I think I spent like two and a half, three hours just up here trying to get those lines disconnected. And then you got to get underneath. Um, and it is just a pain in the ass. Probably should start with just removing all the skid plates. Um, you're going to have to uh, first remove the skid plates, obviously. Remove the cross arm that supports the back of the differential there's that arm over there um and then remove uh this upper bolt pain in the butt to get to um to allow the axle to lower down so you're going to remove that one and this one you can you can leave the third one in you gotta allow the axle to lower down then you got to remove the electronic rack and pinion which is not two bolts it's four there's two big ones down here you can get with a gun and there's two smaller ones up top, which you have to get from the the front side with a wrench. Um, once you get all that out of the way, you also have to remove this, uh, I think it's a coolant booster pump, electronic coolant booster pump, unbolt it, push it out of the way, and bend this bracket upward. Then you can try to finagle the lines down through here it, it's a bit of a puzzle but you you can twist and turn and you can get them to come down through there uh, i didn't have to remove the drive shaft to get it out uh, there's just enough flex and play in it but yeah this is like a six to eight hour job um haven't completed it yet obviously and then once i'm done i gotta put tranny float in which is that that bolt right there allen key Gonna have to pump it up in there. Just the worst. Uh, I think if this was on a slightly earlier Chevy, this wouldn't have taken anywhere near as long. They they really screwed the pooch on this one, making it terribly hard to do. On top of uh, not very reliable lines. I guess these lines blow out all the time. Um, they're a problem. I personally know a few guys that had these late 20 teens Chevys and have had tranny cooler line issues. So. Yeah, any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer what I can.